Monkey Boos. So let me tell you the start of this story. Started off way back in February 21, I think. The height of the second or third COVID wave. And this particular wedding had been cancelled three times, I think, because of COVID, which is understandable. Different venues as well. So anyway, she booked it up, but she didn't book it with me. She booked it with a friend of mine. My friend is now in the corporate realm. He's been doing discos for 300 years. No longer does them. So he passed it on to me. Nice. I'm a little bit of a panic. Because I got the venue and he informed her that he no longer does discos. To be fair, he wasn't as good as me. Right, Duncan. Eric. So and at the time things were myself were a bit grim. Um, because we had COVID, there wasn't really many bookings coming in and we're thinking, God, what's going on? So he passed it on to me. It wasn't a huge amount of money, um, but there was a deposit involved and he sent me over to deposit, which at the time was really handy. It shouldn't be, but it was. There was no paperwork either, as such. There was a letter saying, not from me, yeah, I'll do your disco for you, no problem. And that was it really, nothing else. Apparently these couple are really, really nice. Never met them yet. I love men. And I was paid to deposit about two hours later, which was very good. As I said, times were hard. And that's when the problem started. The main problem was me. I lost my job. And I didn't really kind of look at it. The booking was there and Dara and that was it. a few months ago it popped up again. No, I kind of, uh, the bride, I upsold my love letters which you'll see shortly, but the person paying for the wedding wasn't the bride. So I was communicating between, for the music, the letters and stuff with the bride. And bear in mind she was panicking a bit, quite rightly so. And this other woman to do with the price. But remember, there was no contract. Probably should have sent one after all this. So, here's the thing, originally this disco was booked to be start for right for five, or six, and start for six, or seven, something like that, something like that, something like that, something like that, something like that. about five o'clock and we check that. So one of my uh, colleagues, my party DJ is off work, but say hello. Hiya, your party DJ, <laughs> dot net. <laughs> Bloody cheek. Anyway, he's up, he's up north. So here's the thing, is the upshot of it all. I've been here since 2.30 and originally I was supposed to book between, I did actually check, uh, for six o'clock, um, which is now half past six, but anyway. But because what was happening was that uh, the bridemaids were sort of saying, oh, uh, can you set up by such and such time? And then the bride was saying, can you set up at such and such time? It kept going back and back and back and back and I ended up being here at 2.30 to start. To start for full. And it's cold. My god, it's cold. I'd forgotten my coat. I didn't think it'd be that cold, but bear in mind, I'm in an 18th century barn. 
Um, so I've messaged the wife, and because we're only 10 minutes from home, she's going to be bringing up a coat. And another thing, because I'm in early, I didn't know what was going on. They're all at the minute, are starting to eat, but nobody's, and I've been here since 2.30, as I said. They haven't offered me a drink, anything to eat, nothing. It's not because there's just, just nothing there, so. <laughs> Tesco's. Can't go wrong in a mill deal. Back in a moment. Still trying to work out this neighbours thing, upsetting them. No. So we're uh, six and a half hours in, I haven't started yet. Three hours to go to finish. <laughs> 8.30. So ladies and gentlemen, for the first dance, the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Hensley. another gig in a bag I do hope you enjoyed it the moral of this story by the way is I ended up doing extra hours because people weren't communicating I was very much treated on this one I was just the DJ and absolutely nothing else but the biggest thing on this one is I never got a contract and because I didn't get a contract I couldn't go back to the contract and say hang on for a minute this is what you're agreeing and this is what you're asking for now so I was stuffed so whatever you do guys get a contract it doesn't matter if it's a friend a favor family get a contract because they really kind of help I suppose is the word anyway that's that one I did give them some cards but um they weren't interested really which is a bit odd but that's what happens when you're DJing I do hope you enjoyed it please subscribe if you enjoyed this I try to make it as good as possible and it keeps my channel going thanks very much and I'll see you guys on the next one until next time this is DJ Funky Mike well and truly knackered and out <laughs>